G'day guys, welcome to Aussie Griller. Today I'm making pork spare ribs, but I'm doing something just a little bit different and using the Australian cut of pork spare ribs, so I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, I'm going to start by making the sauce for these pork ribs. So into a medium heat pan, just add a bit of olive oil, and one chopped onion, and two chopped cloves of garlic, and just cook this until the onion goes translucent. Then take off the heat, season with some salt and pepper, a half cup of golden syrup. Now if you can't get golden syrup, just do a 50-50 split of dark and light corn syrup. two tablespoons of tomato paste, a quarter cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar, and finally, add a cup of water, mix together well. Now this will be very runny at this point, but don't worry, it will cook right down and thicken up while we're cooking up those ribs. And now, onto the meat. So here I've got some Australian cut pork spare ribs. Now these do differ from the American ones. It's basically the pork belly cut across into rashers. And this is the same cut that they use to make bacon. They're different, but you can really do some good work with these. And you can see here, they're cut across the bones. Awesome stuff. So what I'm going to do here is just give them a quick sear on both sides. I really don't want to get into the cooking process here. It's just to add a bit of extra barbecue flavor. And once that's done, I'm just going to lay them out in a baking dish. Start by just basting them with a little bit of that sauce. And then into the barbecue, indirect cooking, about 220 Celsius. And I'm going to cook these for an hour to start with. Then I'm going to drain off the excess fat that pulls in the bottom. And once that's done, spoon over the rest of that sauce. Now you can knock these off in about two hours if you like but I'm going to reduce the heat here and let them go for another three to four hours, turning every half hour. They self baste and they're not done until they're fully caramelized just like this. They're not burnt, so don't worry about that. Moist, juicy pork, enjoy. Now they are top notch guys. If you haven't tried this cut before, give it a go. Be sure to check out my indoor cooking channel, Google Plus and Facebook. The links are in the description bar along with the full list of ingredients for today's recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on Wednesday.